we're going to build a chat GPT clone in Google Sheets, and it's not going to take that long. You're going to be surprised. Sam Altman has even admitted before chat GPT existed, like 10 months before it existed, in open AI's API documentation, there was a chat example. We go through that example, and then we use the interface of chat GPT inside of Google Sheets. I take a screenshot of a button. We get it working. I hope you stick around and see how to make ChatGPT inside of Google Sheets. In a previous video for members, I have created a OpenAI's API inside of Google Sheets. In this particular video, I'm going to try to actually style the sheet a little bit and create a ChatGPT interface. We're going to do it a little differently than ChatGPT does, but I think it'll turn out really cool. Hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to have an API key shown in this, but I'll delete it. So we have an open-ended conversation with an AI assistant. This is an example that OpenAI provide when they release their API. And even before ChatGPT existed, they had this. So I'm going to go off of this a little bit, and I'm also going to go get the ChatGPT sort of design and look at it a little bit and see what we can do in a Google Sheet. In the past video, we did get this well, but oh, here, here's all the script that we did before. We're going to rewrite it. We're going to use this one. I'm going to delete all the other stuff from here that we did. Again, in the last video for members only, we did like, right, we wrote some tweets. We asked a question. In this particular case, we just want to do this chat. Okay, so our curl is the same, V1 completions. Our API key is inside of an a, a sheet called API key. So I'm gonna go grab that and create a new API key. Again, I'm just gonna delete this before you, you watch this. All right, enter it there. Okay, now we got a prompt. We don't necessarily want a prompt, do we? Yeah, we want. So we want to grab this prompt that they have and we will look at it in a hot second. Where should we put it? Let's put it right, actually not there. We're gonna do variable prompt equals, we put it in quotes. All right, the following is a conversation with an AI assistant. The assistant is helpful, creative, clever, and very friendly. We have some new lines, human, hello, who are you? I am an AI created by OpenAI. How can I help you today? Human, I'd like to cancel my subscription. So I think this part is what we need to, I think, Actually, let's see, let's just see what this does. If we have this as the prompt, let's look at the stop. We're gonna just change the stop. Oh, we have some differences here. Temperature 0.9, okay. Our temperature here is 0.9. We have max tokens is 150. Let's change that there. Top P1, fre frequency penalty zero, and then 0.6 for this one. The stop is different, so we're gonna change this stop to this one instead of this new line. Okay, and that's all they have. Let's open this in the playground and see what we can do. Human, hello. Oh, I need to hit submit. <laughs> AI, hi there, How, what can I do for you? So now we're gonna get into this conversation. What is the next thing you want me? Oh, I, don't, I spelled that weird. What is the next thing, af next thing after GPT? Three, submit. So we have this sort of chat, right? This chat going back and forth. It's gonna ask us something. Let's see if this works in our Google Sheet. We're just gonna get the answer. What we're doing is really calling one. We're gonna call it and get the response back. We are calling this open AI, but let's call this chat. I'm gonna change that. And we need to give it a prompt, which is this prompt, variable prompt, actually, yeah. Let's kill that prompt there and just go into here and go equal chat. See if this works at all. It's loading. It's loading. Sure thing. I'm sorry to hear you've canceled it. So now it's giving us the reply back, right? Cool. So now we can ask a question, right? Question. And we want to put it right here inside of this. Put two quotes, put two quotes, put a plus plus. And inside the plus plus, we're going to put our question. All right. Let's go back to our chat and put in here chat what is the number of stars in a galaxy i'm gonna ask that question to chat gpt right now we're getting a reply back right but now this is really cool right we can ask a question we can also use the power of google sheets to ask a question what is the max number of characters in a tweet 
We can go over to B1. We can do equal chat A1 and wham, bam, we got it. We got exactly, we're asking a question, we're getting a reply back. But we want to do this back and forth, back and forth. How do we do this? Now, this is going to get a little weird and complicated. So what I want to do actually is I want to create an unopen menu, which is called custom menu here in Google Sheets and Apps Script. We're going to go grab this code. And I, because I want to access this not, not by just putting in a formula. This might make sense later. But we're going to just do chat. Here, enter. I don't know if this is going to work exactly as we have it right now, but if we just go to, because we need the question, right? We want to have chat GPT menu. For now, let's just get it in a menu. We're going to close this. We're going to refresh the page, refresh the whole sheet, and we're going to get our custom menu there. I'm going to delete this. Let's work on a little bit of the chat and what we want to do. I think this is the idea. We want to get a prompt asking, what, do you, what are you asking? Ask a question, then get it, to enter the, get it to enter the response here, but then use that response the next time we uh, have a chat so that we, we keep having that prompt, the last few things in the prompt. So, hmm, let's look at ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT, let's look at it and get a little bit of design style out of this. Okay, so I got a screenshot. Actually, I went in and got an image of ChatGPT. Let's load it up in here. And we're just going to get the color scheme. We want this background color. We don't want any of these kinds of extra stuff. We actually sort of want just three columns, right? We want not very many rows, but this background color custom is going to be this. Then we're going to grab, what does that chat UI look like? Chat, that, there we go. And we can enter right here. Okay. So we can enter here, chat. Let's give it, I want to do one more thing. I want to give it a thick black border. That looks cool, right? This looks like chat GPT, right? Sheet, chat GPT in a Google Sheet. Let's do that. Give it white. Ah, that white's too white. No, this is my tongue too. Okay, so if we have a question here, what? is the airspeed velocity of an unlanded swallow, right? What is the airspeed velocity velocity of an unladen swallow? Okay, this is a question we have, right? Now we want to get that into the AI, AI, yeah, API. Then we want to get back the answer and then delete this question, right? Is that how ChatGPT works? Well, maybe we want to keep the question. So we're going to have it insert a row right here. On chat, let's look at our extension to app script. So we got a question. Maybe we add a little button here too. Insert, let's see if we can find that cool image for that. So here it's this, what is this called? Arrow. Let's see if we can insert image over cells. I'm going to drag this over there. Okay, I had to redo that. But here we got a button. Gonna move that over here. Make it a little bit smaller. Move it a little bit. Out of it. Eek. There, that now we got a button, right? So we can assign this a script. We can. We don't even need this. I don't know why we added this menu option, but we can. Okay, when we press this button, when we add, take action upon this script, what do we want to do? We want to take this question, go to the API, ask that question, then come back and write the answer, and then also keep this question there, right? And maybe insert a row. Right there. All right. That's what we got to do. So chat question is going to be wrong. We don't want that. We're going to get our variable question from a spreadsheet app that get sheet by name. Our name is going to be chat. I think it's lower. Nope. It's app, absolutely capital it's chat dot get range. The range is going to be B to get value. So now we can get the value of that chat of the chat, the question. That's the question, and we're going to go send it, and then we're going to get back. We're going to return json.traces.txt, but we don't. We want variable chat answer equals this. What do we want to do? We don't want to return it. We actually want to go spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Bear with me here. Get sheet by name chat. Oops, let me bring that up. Chat dot get range. Wait, actually, variable, no, no, uh, spreadsheet app first dot 
insert, no, get active spreadsheet. We want to do it right on this chat. Let's take this, make it a variable chat sheet equals that. So we can just do chat sheet dot insert row after a three. I think that's where we want to put it. So now after the third row, there's going to be a new row underneath it here on four. We're going to insert there. Then we're going to do chat sheet dot get range. We want row four because we're going to go to third row. That's going to be the fourth row. Column two. We're going to set the value is going to be our question. Right? Is our question here. And then our answer, chat answer, we're going to do chat sheet dot get range three. No, column five, three. Ah, we want to add insert rows. I think we want rows. Insert rows. How many? We want to insert two rows. And we're going to insert the question. And then we're going to have the response. We want actually probably the question, question and then the answer, right? Mm, dot set value chat answer, right? So if this all works correctly, by clicking this button, chat, we have to assign here, hit command, click that three button, assign script, chat. Okay, now, if all works correct, we're gonna insert two rows, we're gonna send this question to the API, get it back, and insert the, the answer here, okay? If, if this all runs. Okay, we need to authorize, <laughs> authorization is required. It's like 15 minutes into this video and you're like, is this guy going to get there? Okay, we got to add all these. Correct. We got an external service, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive. Sure, we'll allow it all. And I think we have to do that one more time <laughs> because I think authorization first. And then does it work? Oh, we just – oh, my God. I, I screwed up where we're en entering this. And the – oh, my God. And also the – we can't see it. <laughs> we need – what is this? The, oh, my God. According to studies, okay, so we got some answer. The API worked. Where we put it is wrong. Okay, 5-2. Oh, what a weird thing to get wrong. I didn't check that, right? Okay, but now, oh, and it didn't, doesn't delete the question from here. So or, so we got to do that, B2. Let's do that right now. Chat sheet, chat sheet dot get range, B2, right, dot clear content. That's all I want to do. I think that's all I want to do. All right. What do you think of Excel? Ooh. Let's ask that. We insert. Is it going to work? We ins oh, I think we have to change this text again. Let's try this. <laughs> Excel is a powerful tool. But what about But what about Google Sheets? Click the the arrow button here. Ooh, is it running? Like this is really exciting. Google Sheets is a powerful, yeah, look at this. We have ChatGPT working inside of a Google Sheet. Isn't this cool? Google Sheets is a powerful and popular spreadsheet application, right? Oh, awesome. Okay, so in this exact example in ChatGPT clone, we're using OpenAI's example here of a chat with this playground. And in their playground, it seems as though the next prompt is taking in the data that's already inside of here. So the prompt is actually remembering all of this stuff. And I think we're going to have to do that in order for this to be a real tried and true chat GPT. It's got to remember our conversation and build upon it, right? So what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to figure that out and we're going to add in to here some more of the conversation. It's at this moment that you're probably wondering, where's the sheet? I want the sheet. Give me the sheet. Give me the script. Well, Better sheet members have had it for a week. There is a second part of this video where I add more and make it really chat GPT with it takes the last few questions and answers and includes that in the next prompt. So if you want to watch that, you got to be a Better Sheets member or hit the like below because heck, not a single one of my videos has made a hundred likes yet. So if this video gets a hundred likes, I'll post the second part of this video here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hey, let's watch another video about ChatGPT. I tried to use ChatGPT to automate a Google Sheet. Let's see if it can do it. Spoiler alert, it does do it, and I really risk my job here as a Google Sheet expert.
watch this video. It's the latest video here on Better Sheets YouTube channel. Bye.